Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin. Today we're doing a, a Derm Discovers thing. We haven't done one of these in a long time. The last time I think I did this was maybe for the Deca Vita, the uh, the handheld PlayStation Vita TV, which was a bit odd a couple of years back, or I know, was it even a year back? Yeah, it would have been nearly two years ago. But today we're checking out the Humble Bundle because today they're doing something a little bit more special. They've done one of these a while ago for Nintendo. I don't know if they had done a PlayStation Bundle before now, but I am pleased with this. So Capcom have gone to Humble Bundle and actually have done a PlayStation Bundle. And let's take a look at what they're saying. There's $178 worth of awesome stuff um, available for the PlayStation 3 and 4. So in our first tier of donation, you can pay one dollar, about seventy-six cents or more. Uh, to be honest, if you're going to pay one dollar in and get these, this is actually a remarkable deal for one dollar. Um, you'd be a bit mean if you're going to do that. In fact, you would probably want to make sure you give the entirety of that one dollar to charity. So what have we got here? We got Wolf of the Battlefield Commando Three on the PS3. We have Strider on the PS3 or PS4. So you don't get cross by; you get one or the other. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, um, Super Street Fighter or Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely love it. It's essentially a good old-fashioned three gems matching game with um, Street Fighter characters, all done in chibi. Uh, in fact, it actually has characters from Darkstalkers as well, doesn't it? So Puzzle Fighter is kind of a bit of a mix. This is a really fun game. I love playing it with friends. I will probably play footage of this and actually throw it up on... I, in fact, I'm pretty sure I already own this. I say that I'm going to play this. I already own this. I've played plenty of it on multiple consoles over different generations. We'll probably be showing footage of this at some point. Next, we have Final Fight Double Impact, which is, in fact, uh, Final Fight and another game, which is... Um, I can't remember, I think it's like Swords and Souls, or Souls of Swords, or whatever it is. Essentially, it's good old-fashioned scrolling beat-em-up that's in the same style as Final Fight, but much, much deeper in its own way. It's a, essentially, you play in as different character types, but you actually pick up weapons. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the D&D Mysteria series, the ones that were actually out in arcades long ago. You also get a 45% discount off Street Fighter V for the PS Store. Now, looking at that price line... I'd be tempted to actually pick up Street Fighter V. I've been staying away from it uh, for now because I really would... I was looking forward to playing the story mode and I wouldn't mind playing Street Fighter because I'm actually a big fan of the series, but I wasn't going to do that for the price they were asking back in April of this year. Now that they've actually got the story mode out that you can sit and play through cinematic mode, I'm actually considering it at this price. So with a 45% discount off, I actually wouldn't be too surprised. I'm probably give it a wee try. So on to the second tier, the second tier of donation if you pay more than the average, which is, uh, of course, it stays low at the beginning, but it's gone up to about $12. So you're pretty much, uh, you're doing, what, a $3 difference between this and its top tier. It's negligible. I, I always recommend to people whenever they're playing it, doing the Humble Bundle is to grab the biggest one unless there's specifically just one thing that you want from the lower tier. So Lost Planet 3. I haven't played a Lost Planet game since the first one came out. It's snow, it's planets, it's got mecha. I enjoyed playing the demo with the first one, but I haven't followed the series that well. I don't know how well it's aged and how well it's actually kind of maintained itself, but this is available on the PS3. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, which you will probably be listening to music from this game in the background of this, because the remix music for this game series, or this game, was actually done by the OC Remix crowd. They did an entire album, Blood in the Asphalt, which is available for free to download. Uh, you can check it out online at their own website, which will be just on the bottom of the screen here somewhere. Like, you'll link you out to it. But yeah, this is a remaster of the original Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2, um, well, with Super Street Fighter 2 X, I think it would be, since it actually has a Kuma in it as well, but I remember playing this originally on the PC well back in the day, playing it in the arcades and enjoying the hell out of it. This is a very fun, classic game. It has the same mechanics, it has the same flaws and faults, and all the tricks that you remember from back then, you'll still be able to use. You'll still be able to trap somebody in the corner with Guile's kind of overhead kick and double low roundhouse, and, you know, you can spam the hell out of your fireballs. This, this is... Old school Street Fighter 2. If you've got a couple of friends you actually want to get some couch versus going on with, this is well worth a try. Although I still hate Bison, he's an asshole. So right, moving on to Resident Evil Remaster HD on PS3 or PS4. If you have one or the other, I'd recommend the PS4 edition. It is a little bit more entertaining. Um, it, whenever I mean entertaining, it's just the fact that just to watch the game in 1080p in the full screen compared to the way the original game was done, I, I my gel sandwiches are moist and juicy whenever I think about this game. Uh, Resident Evil, of course, has had its flaws over the years, but if you want to go back and check out how it all began in a nice, crisp resolution, I'd recommend checking this out. Okami, which I originally played on the GameCube back whenever it first came out, um, it's it's Okami. It's there's there's literally nothing I can do to describe this game that is not going to to belittle the visual experience that this game is. Fun platformer with a 
beautiful art style. Capcom were in a very artsy phase when they brought out this, so I recommend checking it out. Remember me from Don't Nod, the guys who brought you Life is Strange. This is the game that actually came out with before Life is Strange came out and all of its chaptered and indie glory. This disappointed me whenever it came out. I actually thought the memory hacking mechanic in it should have probably been focused on more. It feels like what you would get if you took maybe Deus Ex Human Revolution and turned it into a arena fighter because a lot of the combat in this felt a bit stiff and stilted. Uh, the only reason why I ever actually managed to finish the game is because I downloaded a DLC pack that was for free that allowed me to use Street Fighter moves in the middle of it. Uh, being able to spinning bird kick to re uh, rejuvenate my health. Yeah, that was well worth it whenever I was playing this game. Uh, remember me, good fun, worth a try. I recommend giving it a wee look-see, uh, even if you don't make it to the end. The world's interesting, the hacking mechanic was really fun to use. I wish to see that come back and be in another game series somewhere sometime soon. Moving on to Mega Man 9 and 10. The big blue bomber himself is back. Yes, the original classic Mega Man series has returned and with a... It, it, there's nothing different. It's the classic retro style. They purposely make it look like the way it did back in the day on the NES. These are difficult games, but also entertaining. If you've got a retro mood in you at all, or a nostalgic bone in your body for the 1980s and the NES classics, this will itch it in a nice way. I even like the cover art on it. It's like just so much like the American style boxes from back in the day. Just much nicer and actually correct. Although, that's the one thing that always annoys me. Why do they give him a gun? <laughs> he doesn't have a gun. He has gun arm, but he does not have a gun in the game. They did this even from like the early Mega Man games and Dr. Wily looks terrifying. All right, let's move it on to the last tier. The bottom tier for this month or for this week's Humble Bundle, this special PlayStation Capcom classic is a 50% off coupon for the Mega Man Legacy Collection, which is, of course, all the Mega Man games that aren't on this one. So this is actually the classics from one through seven or one through eight. Great games. Um, I enjoy them, but yeah. Not, too, not massively enthused or entertained by it, I still have my original cartridges so I could just go back and play them. Resident Evil Zero HD Remastered, right. Resident Evil Zero. Didn't play it, but it actually felt like probably the closest to a Resident Evil game since the original, really. Because of the, kind of the enclosed space being on a train, it, it worked for me style-wise. It's just the fact it came out on a platform that it wasn't really going to have that much horror fans on. I mean, this was a GameCube exclusive, if I'm not mistaken, originally. So it was in that same vein as games like Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, which deserved to be on a wider release, but I'm glad it got remastered and re-released for modern consoles. You can, of course, take a look and check it out on either PS3 or PS4. Give it a try. It's it's one of those games that actually I felt was probably closest to the original Resident Evil formula. If you're being so annoyed with the recent arcade shooter ones, then it's worth giving it a try. And the last but not least from Capcom in the top end of the $15 tier is the Devil May Cry HD Collection. This has no interest to me whatsoever. <laughs> I was actually one of those people who didn't mind the Devil May Cry remake, or not remake, or the reboot, the redo that they did with the new main character. I enjoyed the hell out of that on the PS3. I don't care about the original Devil May Cry games. I actually played through a first couple of them uh, sparringly watching my friends passing the control over to somebody else and I was happy for them to control and watch the spectacle rather than play these games but the Devil May Cry original trilogy series is here and available to play as part of the deal so yeah that was actually the whole 15 and of course supporting the American Red Foundation RedSyndrome.org and Save the Children you can actually be able to grab this I'm just going to pull down a little bit at the stats and take a look around here total payments of quarter of a million wow they're actually doing really well this week um yeah, this is the way I did my breakdown for my $15, was uh, mostly charity, a little bit to Humble Tip, and a wee bit to Capcom. I'm not actually going to go through the payments deals here on screen for you guys, because I don't want you to steal my PayPal, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you actually take a look at the games that are available, and check out trailers for them before you actually go and buy them. But as it is now, this is a really good deal for PS3 and PS4 owners. If you have both consoles, this is definitely a deal. What I would like to see in future is if they actually decide to do a Vita or a PSP Classics or a PS1 Classics, there would be a really nice retro bundle in there. Or maybe even they got in touch with Square Enix, uh, somebody that actually has a lot of classics from that era that they could mix into the middle of this. This has been... I think I'm really happy and glad, delighted that PlayStation's actually been uh, brought into the Humble Bundle list. If they, now that they've done one, they can do more. So, of course, make sure you grab yourself a copy. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.